The governor of Maine, Paul LePage, has pushed for child labor to make a comeback. No, you're hearing this correctly. We're not, it's not like all of a sudden 1876 again. We're in 2014 and this dude wants child labor to come back. And we talked about this before. He's an absolute lunatic. Uh, and instead of listening to the criticism, which came from virtually everybody, people all around the political spectrum, uh, Democrats, Republicans too, independents, he's doubling down on that belief and responding to critics like they are the crazy ones. He said, quote, we don't allow children to work until they're 16, but two years later when they're 18, they can go to war and fight for us. Right. There's no inconsistency there. How can you say that and think there's some sort of inconsistency? I mean, what do you want people to do? What, do you want them to go to war before they could work? <laughs> like, he says something as if it's unreasonable, but it's actually perfectly reasonable. Yeah, you can work, and then two years later, you can go fight. Yeah. That's not crazy. I mean, it, fine, if you want to make it consistent and put it together, but that's not the point he's making. He's saying, well, this is ridiculous. We should make people work, like, when they're a fetus. <laughs> this guy is such a loser. Uh, right now... Students who wish to work in Maine before age 16 must get a permit from their school superintendent, among other requirements, and LePage wants to introduce legislation that would remove those restrictions and require ch children to only get a parent's permission for summer jobs. But here's his main argument, quote, I started working far earlier than that, and it didn't hurt me at all. Well, that's debatable, man, because <laughs> you're not the brightest bulb. But I can't, I can't stand that, man. It's not an argument to say, well, I did it, so it must be right. I mean, there's so many people around today, probably him included, that they were around when there was open racism, when it was like, you know, Jim Crow South and the colored water fountains and white water fountains. And it's like, you grew up in that scenario too, should we go back to that? It's never an argument to say, well, this was my personal experience, so let's just use that. No, you have to provide something more intellectual than that, more substantive than that. But he doesn't. He just says that and expects everybody to accept it as fact. Well, okay, I could play that game too, dude. When I grew up, there wasn't child labor. And it worked for us. So let's do that. Now, uh, again, I don't know if I said this uh, already, but if not, I'll repeat it. How young does he want kids to work? 12 years old. Look, man, I get it. Is, is it possible in some situations for the government to do over-regulation and burdensome regulation and to, you know, be the nanny state too much? Yes, in some cases, that does happen. But in this case right here, is that happening? Absolutely not. The reason why child labor laws came into existence was because when they weren't in place, people took advantage of them. Companies, corporations took advantage of them and made these kids work for next to nothing and do really, really dangerous jobs. So then child labor came along and said, uh, child labor laws came along and said, we're going to draw the line here. And if you don't like it, sucks for you. We want our kids to actually have a childhood, right? And this guy, well, it might not be the most outlandish thing to take this first step. It is a genuine slippery slope. And furthermore, some people might disagree with me on this, but I don't think, why should a kid have to work when they don't they're not even like really in puberty yet or that the very beginning stages of it i mean if anything that's the actual childhood and you should let the kid experience their childhood until they get to that line that we draw where everything else or oh, the doors are open for everything else as well i mean there's something fucked up about telling a kid you can have responsibilities and do things that a lot of people find annoying at the age of 12 so you can get your ass up and go to work right but you can't do any of the other things. You can't have the 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 wind down time stuff that the uh, adult pleasures and accoutrements that come along with being an adult. So you know you wouldn't be able to have uh, any sort of substance or buy pornography or do stuff like that. You got there's got to be a level of uh, a level of consistency there, a better level of consistency, where you don't I mean chip away and start going back to the Industrial Revolution times when they were wrong about this and also wrong about many other things.